Hey, welcome to the next video of my playlist. Get amazing customers who are willing to flock your door crazily. In the previous video, we have discussed and covered Google Ads in detail. We have created a campaign to drive traffic to our website, infamous.com. And in another video of uh, Google Ads, we have learned how to create an effective YouTube ad. Now looking at my screen, I just received an email from Google Ads and this is the result of one day ad activity, 22126. So you can see that uh, 252 times my ad was viewed and it has drawn 32 website visits, which is pretty fair. And I can see this reflecting on my Google Analytics. If you look at this little spike, uh, on the on 26th date, uh, I'm on my Google Analytics. More on that later. But the point here is, Google Ads are for real. Now, once you have initiated a campaign to get viewers on your website, your website needs to have following elements, starting with one push notification, moving down to Facebook pixels, and then email opt-in form. These three elements should be prominently displayed on your website. And here's the reason. The reason why I want you to have one push notification is you can use onesignal.com. That's what I use on all of my websites. One push notification means that whenever a new product or a blog post is released on your website, people get instant prompt box notification while they are surfing the internet. This would allow them to click on that particular dialog box and driven directly to your website, regardless of what you're selling, an e-commerce product or perhaps a blog or even your own website, which could be a portfolio or, uh, you know, simple about me website. So push notification is the first and the foremost thing every website needs to have. And I'm using onesignal.com. Moving down to email opt-in form. You need to get in touch with your customers frequently. And one effective way of doing this is through email opt-in form. When people come on your website, they are excited about the product and service you're offering. They can fill in the opt-in form to get your periodic newsletter. You could be sending weekly newsletter, or monthly newsletter, or a bi-yearly newsletter, perhaps a yearly newsletter, depending on your taste and, uh, uh, and the time you have. But email list, allows you to create a direct connection with your customers regularly without spending a huge amount of advertisement money. Since you have acquired a customer's list, you can send them email using any of the email service provider. I recommend using MailChimp.com because initially for one month using MailChimp free account, you can send one email to 2000 subscribers. Amazing, right? Pretty amazing. So if you decide to send out your newsletter monthly, you can send to 2000 email subscribers absolutely free, no strings attached. And you can of course upgrade your package. And the third thing here is Facebook pixel. In the upcoming video series, I'm going to show you and teach you how to create effective Facebook advertisements using lookalike audience, using Facebook pixels, leveraging on the video views you will have on your Facebook page. We are going to discuss everything in detail and this would solve a lot of puzzles regarding Facebook advertisement. So without wasting time, let's just go to the next video. I just wanted to show you the results of Google Ads. It is for real and I wanted you to learn the important elements such as push notification, email opt-in form, and Facebook pixel that should be included in everyone's website. Now let's just jump to Facebook advertisement.